Welcome back to the show, everybody. You're watching NHL Now. Former NHL forward Brian Boyle is joining NHL Network as a studio analyst. Why do we bring this up? Because he's here with us live in studio. Uh, What's up? How is life is the obvious first question here. We're excited to have you here. Life is good. I'm excited, too. I'm thankful that I got this opportunity and hang out with you guys is a good, uh, good opening day for me, I think. So I appreciate it. What do you make of what's been going on around the league this season? I mean, it's because uh, I mean you played last year, and I mean I don't, and I still think maybe you could stop, you could still be showing up somewhere again at some point. But uh, what do you make of what's going on? Because it's been a crazy season. Yeah, it has, and and so just being, I'm in Boston and seeing what they've done. It's been incredible to watch the kids. I know my my son's playing hockey. He's watching. Everybody's talking about the Bruins. Uh, you've seen, you know, a team like Pittsburgh. I know you guys talked about it. The wild streaks that they've gone on. What Connor's doing, what I think uh, up in Edmonton, what the, what the Lightning are doing uh, with like guys like Cooch, they don't even, they're not even talking about that. People are probably bored of them now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here comes Colorado again, and, yeah. and it's it's uh, it's an exciting way. Uh, some teams West seem like they don't really want to make the playoffs. <laughs> we'll see. We've talked about that, but it's exciting. We call it the turtle race. Yeah, the turtle race. <laughs> the turtle race. I mean, yeah. and then yeah, I mean, it's it's been exciting to see so many teams, and then you watch another teams, and this this kid coming up, Connor Bedard, who yeah. knows what. Um, how that's going to be. The Dard Mania is coming yeah, soon. Yeah. The teams are winning and, and fans you. are mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening right now? You know, it's what you got to ask. But uh, I'm going to ask you this from uh, being in Boston and everything and, and uh, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to speak for you. Maybe you're rooting for the Bruins. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, you know a lot of people who are rooting for the Bruins. Is this, is there a little bit of trepidation because everything's <laughs> been so good? The team's like, breaking records or on pace to do that and then they go out at the deadline they get better and then they get better and they get better and like is there like Crazy. nervousness or is, are they like is it all just yeah we're good we're go we're winning this thing I mean, you don't see it much in sports when the you, best you were, teams like the Tampa, go the Tampa beginning before that. they won on and won their cups like yeah. that, that whole that president's trophy that crazy record setting year yeah they're talking about it in the uh, in the local ranks when i bring my son they're all worried about it the fans yeah. the, the the dads there um I don't know. You give up 150 goals in what is it, 70 games? Yeah. It's ridiculous. That's a pretty good team. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd be pretty confident if I was there. Yeah. yeah, they should be confident. But the you know the President's Trophy curse is is yeah. real, right? I mean, it's not often the best team yeah. in the regular season wins, but they do look top to bottom just extremely dangerous. You've mentioned a couple times now. You know, your son plays hockey. Big fan. I'm gonna assume the the answer to this question will be Bruins related as well. But like. Who are kids into these days? Because they they consume hockey so differently, I think, than than we all did growing up. You know, they've got YouTube, they've got TikTok, they're seeing all the best highlights from around the league. They can watch whatever team, whatever player they want yeah. on any given night. Who do the kids love these days? Like, who who are the cool guys in the NHL? You you see a number of different jerseys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, at, at all the rinks because of for whatever reason, but I mean every. Lots of kids can watch a lot of different games. They have that luxury. Um, we were in Tampa for an alumni event last weekend. My son's got all his Tampa gear on. That's his favorite team this week. <laughs> I mean, it's Tampa and it's Pittsburgh, and those are the two. Say, yeah. where we're going, Dad. Let's yeah. all right, pull that one out. <laughs> well, and those guys welcomed him in. He got to meet some of them, got some yeah. autographs. He's like, Cooch, you know, Vassy. He loves Vassy, Heady, Stammer. Like, he talks about Sid, asks about Sid all the time. When's Sid going to call me again, Dad? Like, <laughs> this guy's got some stuff going on. But, <laughs> It's, a, it's all the kids. They all have different jerseys. So it's, it's a lot of fun to see, and it's great for the league that they get to watch all these guys. So you guys played together with the Rangers, and uh, what, what do you remember about this guy as a teammate? What, I mean, he, he was the best teammate. He, he went in and had... <laughs> That's a great compliment, all, though, right? It is, but yeah. he got a hat trick against us when he was playing in Pitt. Uh-huh. And I think, you know, Slats probably just said, screw it, we got to get him. <laughs> we, we, we did have... We were lacking that. I, uh-huh. I uh, I remember being thankful. I was, you know, I'm a bigger guy. I was not a very good fighter and didn't really know when the time or the place was. And Rupper taught me a lot about that. And then he showed it, and he was hugely effective for us. Mm-hmm. And then just having having conversations with him, having having hockey talks or whatever it was. But he was he knew about so much about the game back then. You kind of could see that either he'd coach or he would be doing something like he's doing now. He was he was great to me, and we still keep in touch from time to time as well before that so i'm happy to be next one. well i appreciate that buddy i i was actually uh it was kind of cool because do we have the clip of uh b's uh first nhl goal because i i remember it because i remember in that moment you were with the la kings i was with the devils and i was like 
Can you imagine scoring your first NHL goal on Marty Berdour? That was my warm-up, by the way. That was your warm-up? Yeah. yeah. Look at this right here. Marty oh. Berdour, eh? First <laughs> NHL goal against who I will th I think is the best goal he ever played against. Oh, wait, was I on the ice? Aaron Ashton's out there. I might have been on the ice. Did I get a minus on this one? I don't know. We might have to check that because Aaron Ashton was on the ice, and that's my line mate. Yeah. I mean, I, hopefully I was not, but hey, that's a, bit, that's a big first goal. What were you feeling? That was awesome. I get, like I said, that little twirl I did in the beginning was my first, that was my warm-up. Uh -huh. uh, our driver got lost, and I got to the game and the first after the first TV timeout. I feel oh, like you, you wait, I feel like you've told no. me this. I feel like you told yeah. me this. Take, and, take everybody through that again. Well, no, listen. So you got the call up. I got the call up. No one in my family came. Where nope. was it, Matt? Uh, I was in Manchester, Manchester. New Hampshire. The yeah. driver took a me short, down. A short drive from Manchester, <laughs> New Hampshire, yeah, anywhere. Quick one. And yeah. then, and <laughs> no joke, six-piece six chicken nuggets. I stayed away from the fries. I had a Coke, though. Uh -huh. That was my pregame meal. Any sauce? No. Okay. I wasn't. I was so nervous. Okay. I was like, <laughs> I was slightly less right. nervous Eat. than I am right now. When you're nervous, you don't get you sauce. You don't get sauce. I mean, no, yeah, I just had sauce. six I should, no, I got my okay. suit on, too. I can't walk in first that's time. A, that's guys. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sour, Bessie Brian Boyle. Um, yeah, and then like, Mark Crawford's a coach screaming. I'm tying my skates. Where is he? He was a little more colorful than that, but he's screaming yeah. at me. I had no control, and then uh, I got on the ice. He Go take the draw. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, you just did that skate. That was my warm -up. go take the face off. That was my warm -up for that game. And Maybe when did was... the goal come? Second period, Second period. And the next shift, I had an assist. Jack Johnson scored. We lost six three. And I'm usually more of a team guy, but I was I was so happy. Yeah. Maybe it was a blessing, you. right? You didn't have time to like think to overthink about it. You I were just so. like, oh my god, I gotta get there. I gotta eat something. And now I'm like on the ice. Like uh, there's no time. Yeah, it was. It was probably better, but no one, no, no one in my family came. No, it was such a last-minute call. -up. Unreal. Yeah. Oh, uh, before we let you go, uh, and again, uh, Brian's going to be joining us on yeah. NHL Network. He's going to be giving his thoughts on what's going on in the league. We talked about the NHLPA player poll today, and Sidney Crosby won the player vote for most complete player. Do you agree with with that assessment? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. How do you argue? I mean, hey, people do. Have you been on Twitter? Well, that's what it's, that's what's fun about it, and, yeah. and I'm sure you can make an argument for people. Who, but the, he Still works doing at, it, right? Yeah, and 35. He, and he works at different parts to make make his game more complete every year. And I think that's what the players understand about him. Is he's a great skater and he's super strong and he's got great vision. But is he? Are you scared of his shot? Are you scared of his? I am because it goes in when I'm on the ice against him. But like, mm -hmm. he's not going to blow by that many guys. It, but he, he figures out a way to get around him. Like, he just works at his game so well, and then he competes so hard. I mean, I can't say enough about And he's, like, one of the best guys ever. Right? You're right. So. Unbelievable, right? Well, Nova yeah. Scotia, of yeah. course. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, so uh, I just got confirmation from our great research team. Benny Seltzer just told me I was minus one. I was on the ice for the first time. <laughs> yeah. So, son of a, yes. Yeah. Uh, I love you, I love you, B. Nothing's going to ruin that. Actually, this almost ruined it. Do we yeah. have that clip? Let's yeah. Or can I tell the story? Triple overtime, Wash, I talked to you about this. Triple overtime. Wide open at Gabbert comes around. Look at, I got it. Hits you in the rear end. Yeah. Dude, get out of the way. Hope he's not even in the net. I'm scoring this goal, triple overtime. <laughs> Just and look at this right here. Reverse flip. Got it. Got it. Fling it up right oh. in the butt. That's going in the net, B. I know. If you, you weren't such a, a good team. Look at that. Oh, rougher. And I can't, you just said, I'm sorry. You can't, I remember coming out the bench, you're like, I'm sorry, dude. I'm like, it's good. Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> we had to play for so much longer. That was the longest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reaction right there. Oh. I know, the second time I got hit earlier, you saw the blood of my jersey. Kreider missed his assignment, call up from college, missed his assignment. I got a Alex Simmons one time in the face. <laughs> nice, nice. I was getting I hit with pucks left and right in that game. And one, one last little thing from that from that as well. I remember that game in particular because just in overtimes, maybe you could shed a little bit of this too. Start first overtime, you go in in the playoffs, get the right things in you. Get the right, you know, electrolytes, get and maybe uh, give me a power bar, whatever. Well, you know, when we're on the road, we have like a chest full of this stuff. It's gone. Yeah. So uh, you got before the second overtime. Now it's like we got to get something. We're drinking coffees. We're drinking like any, we have we have uh, we have uh, the stick boys running up and getting that stuff from the concourse. Yeah. Then the concourse was out of stuff. stuff. And it's what? like we're sitting there. It, it, it is crazy what you're just trying to get. We're eating pizzas. We had ordered pizzas. Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. You're, everything like you're not told not diet? to do, but we need something. But you need something. No, you well, you know what you needed.
Six piece nuggets. Six piece yeah, nuggets no would have got them done. No no six sauce. piece, no sauce. Fine. Six piece nuggets would have oh, got them. But I remember, I remember uh, Ryan McDonough. <laughs> Ryan McDonough in that game, I want to say, played 54 minutes. Oh yeah. my well, God. Yeah. He's like, keep climbing. Was it 59? I think Danny G was 54. Yeah. He played two games. Yeah. Yeah, it's an unbelievable. That's well, welcome I played to, two games, two 30 minutes. Welcome to TV. <laughs> welcome to TV because this is what happens to you. You come in and right, we dig up all this video on you. That's great. Yes. So that's that's good. a great that video. I love the response there, yeah. too. That was really good hey, video. I can't great, great I teammate, that. though. One of my favorites all time. That's why I can forgive him for getting his butt in the way in that. Hey, we in won fairness, the game. he tried to get out of your way. <laughs> it's not, always, yeah. about, it's not always about winning, Brian. Supper, it's about oh, great being a part of it. Supper, under the bar, under the bar. You would have been a hero. There was space. I mean, it's not like you couldn't see him. That's true. That's true. Jackie, you know what? Let's go to break. <laughs> <laughs>